outside, and whenever you vlog outside, as you probably know yourself, you, you've obviously got the elements to contend with, so I'm not sure how this is going to work. <laughs> But perhaps it's quite fitting that I feel a bit slightly on the back foot from the get-go um, because I really want to talk to you guys about something that is um, really big on social media right now and maybe, you know, arguably in the world and that's authenticity. So what do you think about when you think about that word? For me, to be honest with you now, because it's become such a buzzword, I have to admit that I have a little bit of, uh, I'm just looking at my cup of tea there because I'm actually did bring my cup of tea out for me. Um, it kind of makes me think about Instagram and how what I observed whilst in my brief sojourn on Instagram was that it became a kind of um, fake thing. It became, you know, uh, another monetizable um, idea um, that was in my view, not always, but quite often, quite far removed from the real definition of the word. Um, and so it became fake. <laughs> so even that became sort of pseudo authenticity. And I think that's kind of what I want to speak to a little bit. Um, and also kind of celebrate that, yes, it's great that we're having these conversations about authenticity, because I think in, in essence, it's great. Um, on the other hand, though, um, it becomes problematic when, um, in my view anyway, I mean, you know, who cares really? I mean, everyone has their own take on these things, but for me, what I don't like is anything that seems disingenuous. By all means, if you are naturally, um, you have a particular laugh and you don't change that for being, you know, online, great, awesome, or whatever, you know, but at the same time, I, I hate when things become too packaged and you actually lose the whole meaning of the thing. Um, you know, before I started filming this vlog, I positioned the camera. I wanted to get a bit of blue sky in there. I was suddenly aware that I've, I've actually got a hole in my, this is one of my favorite cashmere jumpers. It's like, I'm not gonna start showing you this hole and you know, um, I don't know. It, it's like, I'm not gonna come out with my teeth, with my, you know, break my lunch in my teeth and stuff like that. So how far? do we really go when we're saying oh I'm so authentic and I actually got you know one of my friends actually on, on Instagram was uh, you know she she was called make, made a dig at me once about some of the hashtags that I use and in a way I kind of can relate to that but on the other hand so yeah anyway I guess what I'm starting with is some of the ways that this all this whole idea is problematic um where it gets you know um kind of subverted into something else um and yeah i've actually i've actually just written down scribbled down some ideas as i was as i was thinking about what i wanted to vlog with you guys about today and share i actually thought yeah there's a couple of things i really want to cover so i've i've written them down just in note form so yes i kind of applaud the authentic movement and all of that jazz and yes i think it's so true that brands now and companies can no longer get away with the kind of bs that they used to where you know everything looks perfect <laughs> and, yeah. and it's interesting what happens now to some people not everyone some people can still get away with this kind of stuff but what you notice on places like insta is that actually people don't like the kind of super polished uh instagram accounts anymore and a lot of them get teased or worse you know for being super polished and look at me having my breakfast and I, oh, my face is just done up, just woke up, you know, all that kind of stuff. You know, we've all seen it and I think we do see through it. Um, so yes, I, I get that. I think the flip side of all of that, you know, kind of the idea of very laudably and um, honorably, like we're all gonna be honest now. It's like I've said, you know, we can only take that so far if we're really honest and why shouldn't we you know not <laughs> i don't want to show you my holes under my in my jumper you know um i think one of the things i i remember on my first training when i was training to be a therapist and my first from my undergraduate training i remember my the head of the training she uh led some of the lectures and um I had a funny relationship with that woman it was a kind of a love-hate thing and i really admired her but she we just sometimes seemed to rub each other up the wrong way and one of the, the one thing she she taught us and one of the things she shared with us was this this idea that no one should ever tell you what you know, you know in terms of your identity and what your values are if you happen to be for example a woman who 
is very maternal and you know you see yourself as a wife and that's your role and all the kind of more let's say traditional um roles that we might assign to women which are very out of favor of course at the moment you know you should never feel like you need to apologize for that because there's nothing wrong with basically kind of for example this was just an example she gave kind of like um letting uh, just making that your identity i i.e one could say i'm a wife you know or i'm a you know that is what i do that is who i am that is everything because only an, an individual can make that decision for themselves and i i actually wholeheartedly agree with that now whereas at the time i struggled with it and i didn't throw it out entirely but i think there's something about that idea and you know authenticity in terms of for me at least what it means is that we have to all decide for ourselves what that means for each of us and also how much we want to disclose i think the again sort of uh, other extreme of the spectrum for me and i i did i must say i experienced this on instagram i kind of explored with all the different social media platforms nearly all of them and what i found was that it almost became like if you weren't like showing your scars and crying and you know oh my god i've just broken up with my boyfriend and uh, you know every my dog died and my coffee was cold and if your posts were no longer like that it was like oh you're not real you're not you're fake you know or whatever so it, it kind of went to the other extreme and and even to the point where i found, found that some people i followed initially became quite extreme in what they were sharing and it made me think as a therapist it made me kind of concerned sometimes for their well-being not that i felt they shouldn't be sharing it but just that um you know full disclosure with no boundaries sorry about that my lovelies um my alarm just went off <laughs> interrupted my vlog but you know what i was gonna try and articulate was just the idea that if we are pouring out you know our lives on social media which we are free to do of course you know and many people become you know influencers by doing just that but if we're doing that with no boundaries for me I uh, sometimes worry about the mental health of the young women sometimes that I see on social um, and it's just because that is not necessarily a sign of health and keeping it real. You know, that's one of the phrases that you hear a lot on Insta, for example, or at least I did. So, you know, I guess, again, I'm just trying to consider the extremes with, with this theme of so-called authenticity, right? And I think, what was the other thing I wanted to say? Um, yeah, I read, a, I read something today that was basically, you know, a celebration of authenticity. And one of the things this piece was saying um, was that we should embrace being mocked online. And uh, because if we're authentic, eventually we'll, we will be mocked or whatever. So on the one hand, I think, yeah, maybe that's true. On the other, it made me recall something that happened to me this week, which was around, you know, it was on Twitter and we all know Twitter's a bit aggressive and can be problematic and stuff. But, you know, I got some flack for a tweet I put out because it, but it wasn't about um, people feeling like, I, I don't know. Uh, to be honest, I'm not quite sure I understand the, the whole idea of being okay with being mocked. I think, yeah, we shouldn't be so sensitive to the whims and the fancies of what anyone thinks of us. Yes, I think that's laudable and great to aspire to, but frankly, we're all human beings and we all care. You know, we like to say, I don't care what you think or whatever, but, and I know I've said this, but the truth is we do care. You know, we're, we're wired that way. Of course we care. So I, I guess I'm questioning that whole idea of just being okay with being mocked. But more to the point, if it's if it's being mocked because because I'm, I'm black, and it's like you know go home and those kinds of comments, which is what I was getting, um, and just outright aggressive. I mean, not not death threats, but you know really quite aggressive tweets and replies and things. Should we accept that in in the in the sort of all in the service of being authentic and accepting our lumps because we've chosen to dare to share i'm not so sure about that so you know again that's something that i would question and i think in closing my final thought is that um you know authenticity for me at least it's about or it's, it's not, this is not like a final thought of course i might I might think of something else tomorrow I want to share with you. But my thought for this moment is that it's a lot to do with 
you know, the idea of to thine own self be true.